In this video, I'm going to introduce you to my latest three creations and you get to vote which one of these three I'm going to turn into a crochet tutorial here on my YouTube channel. Hello lovely people! For those of you who don't know me yet, I'm Stella from Stella's Yarn Universe. I miss you a lot. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. This is just a quick one to introduce you to my latest creations. Maybe you've seen my poll recently. Um, it's been longer than recently, to be honest. <laughs> a while back, I asked what you would like me to crochet next. And these three beautiful creatures <laughs> were on the list. It's the butterfly and dragonfly, they got uh, lots of votes. The duck soon not so much, but um, I received many comments about them, and so I thought, okay, maybe it's still something that's in high demand, and you just didn't see the poll. You know, those of you who commented, so although some of the comments were under the poll. <laughs> anyway, sometimes, you know, when you're very determined and you make the effort to comment, I think, yeah, that means something. So I ended up making the Dachshund. So all of these patterns are going to be written free patterns on my blog stellasyarnuniverse.com and they are also going to be um, interactive patterns on my Ribla shop. So Ribla is my favorite platform if you haven't heard of them. I highly recommend you check them out. You can create an account for free. There are so many cool free patterns and also patterns that you can buy. And the great thing is it's so innovative. Like they create new features um, every month and they just make life for crafters as well as designers so much easier and fun. And um, you know, it's, it's the new age of crochet patterns. <laughs> Not just crochet patterns, also knitting patterns and sewing patterns. So that's just a side note. Um, I'm also still going to create PDF patterns for all of these. The one for the damselfly or dragonfly already exists. You can find that in my Etsy shop. Um, and I'm going to create one for the monarch butterfly and the dachshund as well. So those of you who prefer to have PDF patterns, you'll still have a chance to purchase those for a small fee if you don't want to go to my blog and um, access it straight on the website for free and so one of these though I'm going to turn into a tutorial here on my YouTube channel the reason I'm not making all of them is because um, as you can imagine it takes lots of time to create these tutorials and at the moment I don't have as much time as I wish I had for creating videos so when I do create them I want to make sure that I create something that you really love and that you're really waiting for and excited about and so I just want to make sure that I create the one that gets the most votes and so instead of making a poll in which I just shared the names of the animals and you have to use your imagination and maybe you know my version doesn't turn out the way that you expected it to turn out I thought why not create them first and then show you so let's forget about the poll and just comment under this video in the comment section below which animal you would prefer just tell me the name so we have here the monarch butterfly this one I just finished just now before making this video and so that was a really fun project and <laughs> I went into detail with this one. So all these little details are created using craft wire, except the tongue. <laughs> and so yeah, if you don't like using craft wire, that's absolutely fine. You can just skip this part and you'll still have a beautiful butterfly. And yeah, I went for the monarch butterfly for my friends that are in um, America and I think it's home to 
um, you know, all the Americas, I think. Um, if I'm not mistaken, correct me if I'm wrong. And yeah, this is still the first version, so it's it doesn't it's not the most symmetrical, but I got the pattern and <laughs> written down and yeah, I'm ready to make the tutorial if you like to go for this one. So let me know. Just um, type butterfly in the comments and that will count as a vote for the monarch butterfly. And so the next option here we have the dachshund. And so I hope you can see him because he's black. If I were to create a video tutorial for this one, of course I'd go for a different color. So um, don't take the color into consideration when voting because, yeah, of course, like this, you won't be able to see what I'm doing, but I'm going to go for a lighter color if I were to make a Dachshund tutorial. So I'm so glad that I ended up making this one. Yeah, <laughs> I think it's quite cute. And so, yeah, I hope those of you who asked me for a Dachshund tutorial or pattern at least I hope you're happy with the outcome and yeah at the very least there will be a free pattern on my blog like I said and a pdf version available to purchase for a small fee uh, either on Ripla and um, well the pdf on Etsy or the interactive pattern on Ripla so if you would like the Dachshund then please just write Dachshund in the comment and this will count as a vote and then we also have the dragonfly or damselfly actually. I'm not sure, sometimes here in the UK this one is described as a, a common blue uh, damselfly and sometimes as a common blue dragonfly. So I'm <laughs> not really sure. I think it's quite small. So I thought it's a damselfly. And yeah, I named him Dunley because he's definitely a male with the blue and black stripes. And yeah, so I already created the pattern and had it tested. So that's already available for free on stellasyarnuniverse.com. And also there's a version on Ribla to purchase for a small fee as well as a PDF version to purchase for a small fee on Etsy if you like. If you don't want to wait for the potential video tutorial but yeah either way if you like this one there is a chance for you to create it using the one of the written patterns and so if you would like to see this as a video tutorial though then please let me know in the comments by writing dragonfly or damselfly and this will count as a vote and so let's bring them all back so let me know what do you think about this format? I mean, um, I love, love, love all your suggestions. And so, um, yeah, I really like to um, create them all. And I feel like this way I can do more of them because I don't turn them all into video tutorials, but that doesn't mean that you can't recreate them because I make patterns for all of them and yeah I really upped my game so I have them all tested whether they're free or not and um, yeah that means it takes more time for, for me to get them out but that also means that of course the quality is improved <laughs> so I hope you're happy with that and keep the su suggestions coming I always love hearing them uh, one of you lovely suggested a pangolin and I'm going to make one for an upcoming crochet along. So I'm very thankful for that suggestion and I can't wait to get started with the pattern that's next on my list. So let me know which ones you like and thank you so so much for tuning in and see you very soon in my next video tutorial. Bye bye and happy crocheting!